for you. I promised you a look really quickly at the tropics. I know we don't want to talk about the tropics right now. There is, however, one little area. This was a little low pressure area right on the coast of the southeast US that just crossed out a little bit farther into the Atlantic. This one has a very low chance of developing in the next several days, but officially it is kind of on the, the radar for the National Hurricane Center. But just looking at hurricane season, hopefully this is it. It looks like this will be it unless that develops, but we're almost out of time now. 21 named storms, seven hurricanes and four major hurricanes. You can compare that to the average. And then I also wanted to compare it to last year's numbers when we had 30 named storms, 14 hurricanes and seven major hurricanes. Remember last year, those seven major hurricanes, that was incredible. That was um, tied for the most. And you can see that we did make it. So many of these, look at this, were the green letters. Remember, we had that really active late part of the season last year from Delta on to Zeta and on toward Iota. All of those were after the 21 name storms that we have with our name list normally. This year, taking a look, we've had the four major hurricanes. You can see their peak intensities, all category three or four. And of course, this is the big one for us that we remember here in the New Orleans area in South Louisiana. Looking, by the way, at that thing we talk about sometimes, not just named storms, how many storms and things like that, but accumulated cyclone energy. This is an index that takes into account the longevity of the storms as well as the intensity. And you can see that this year we're at about 145. Last year we were at 180. And remember, 2005 was that year that it was just so high. We had so much activity and we reached over 200. The average, by the way, for a season is about 100 or so. And by the way, just in case you're a math nerd and kind of interested in what exactly that is, it's the sum of the squares of the maximum sustained wind speed measured every six hours. So both the intensity and how long it stuck around goes into the accumulated cyclone energy. We also call it ACE sometimes. Anyway, not to get too far into that, but just to give you an idea of that. It